in that million dollars worth of game interview, yeah. uh, Gilly said that Terrence Crawford is more accomplished, but Earl Spence has the better resume. Yeah. Terrence Crawford argued that his resume was better, that he fought a better version of Kell Brook, and that Danny Garcia should be considered as an elite win. Yeah. Who has the better resume? Crawford got the better resume because four different weight class. No, no, I ain't talking about oh, accomplishments. I'm talking about ta- no, just talent feast. Better Crawford. fights. Fighting in different weight classes, fighting champions. Fighting ex world champions, champions. Spence got them on his record too, but they all been at forty seven. Um he got the better names. Spence got the better, better names. Crawford got the better resume because different styles of fighters. D- differentiate the resume with the names. The names. The names is one point that he made, and Danny from Philly, I love Danny, but he said, who did Danny beat at 47? And he couldn't really, they couldn't really think. I mean, uh, I think he came up with Paulie. Paulie Malinati. Danny beat, what, Robert Guerrero? Yeah, Robert Guerrero, who was a 35-pounder. Yeah. He, you know what I mean? Guys like that. So, he made a point. That was a good point. Um, but when you look at the list, the list of Crawford guys, the postals, you know I mean, guys like that, that's a, that's a world of experience. I mean, okay. Uh, at so different levels. He, he's right in the sense of who did Danny beat, but somebody could also make the argument, well, who did Gamboa beat at 35? He didn't beat him. Yeah, but Gamboa, Gamboa is, is one of them guys, all right, like some guys come into boxing made men, right? Danny Jacobs is a made man. Danny Jacobs, towards the end, didn't look too good. Looked like he was a little clueless at times. But guess what? Everybody at super, I mean at middleweight or super middleweight, 54, you wanted Danny Jacobs on your record. Because you gonna learn a lot fucking with Danny Jacobs. Been around the world, Olympia, and all the other shit. So that's what you get when you get a game boy. You're fighting a, a seasoned fighter. I mean, Gambo was small, yeah. His best days was at what, 26 and 30? Yeah. But motherfucker can't fight, man. Motherfucker can't fight. But, you know, somebody can make that art. Like, Danny Garcia was the man at 140 pounds. So shouldn't that yeah. both, shouldn't that both, I like, can't each other out. You can't tell me yeah, Gambo was an elite man, win, but Danny man, Garcia isn't. Who the better skilled fighter, Gambo or Danny Garcia? Danny Garcia. It's better oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Gambo. Gambo. Gambo was the more skilled yeah. fighter. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not trying to force you to say that. I'm no. just saying. No, like, no. Game Boy is the better skilled fighter. So you're going to learn more fighting a Game Boy than fighting Danny. When you're fighting Danny, you got to just try your best yeah. not to get the shit cracked out of you. So Game Boy is the more skilled fighter. Yeah. Danny Garcia fight. beat better competition. Though. His run, his run, yeah. his run at 140 pounds yeah. was a very, very good run. Yeah. It was a good one. But 47, that's why I always say, I always say they both great fighters. They both for great competition. I believe a lot of the guys Crawford fought was great. The thing is, people are like they don't because they don't understand how boxers are built. They don't understand how how you got the guy career and you know get him to a strap. All of them guys wasn't given that opportunity. So you run into like a Terrence Crawford, he end up beating you up. So now we put him on the he ain't shit list. But that ain't true. A lot of them guys can fight. Just couldn't beat Crawford. A lot of them guys could fight that Spence for. Just couldn't beat Spence. Who guys could fight his ass off? Just couldn't beat Spence. Sean Porter could fight his ass off. He just couldn't beat Spence. That's why I say it's just a great fight. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to give Spence the better resume nod and give Crawford the accomplishments because Crawford is, is very accomplished as far as three divisions, yeah. undisputed, you know, in yeah. one. But as far as like the names, I give Spence the edge because two of Crawford's best wins yeah. is guys that Earl Spence faced and beat ahead of time. Yeah. So I just I just think boxing crazy because people don't give people credit because he didn't beat your favorite fighter convincingly. He fought some guys you wasn't aware of. But that don't mean he's not a great fighter. You know what I mean? It be like that sometimes. A lot of these guys, when you look back at Floyd record, a lot of them guys he beat, people ain't know who they was. You know what I mean? But they accepted the win because it was Floyd. Mm. His skill set. 
Floyd making shit look easy, so on and so forth. So now in the future, you hear these guys bringing up those names like they knew who they was when they fought. But yeah, they didn't pay guys any attention. All they heard was Tyrank had a new hot prospect who was a bronze medalist, and you know he got some shit with him. Mm. And then he was related to the Roger Mayweather and, and Big Floyd Mayweather mm. and, and his other uncles. You know what I'm saying? So people, people just really just attach themselves to certain fighters. And if that, if that fighter don't get his ass whooped by a certain fighter, then he ain't fighting nobody. That's not true. Mm. That's not true. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's a bunch of great fighters out here that you're not going to hear about. And there's some great fighters that you're going to hear about. And some of them just talent. And because this is the entertainment business, a lot of these guys get pushed as talent. And they're not being told the truth. Some of them being lied to and being told they can really fight. And that's why they be going in there getting their ass whooped the way they do. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, Spencer Crawford, great fight. I'm glad they made the fight. You know what I mean? July 29th is now a holiday.